Hi, folks. Welcome to the show. My name is Bobby Wheatgrass. And I'm Johnny on the spot. Johnny on the spot. What are we going to see here today, you think? Today, let me tell you what. We are going to see a child pull a clutch that could potentially be worth $50,000. $50,000, $50, you $50,000. I don't think I never heard such a thing. I don't know a parent who would put such a thing in a child's hand. I ain't got no $50,000 to put in my boy's hand. Mm, nor do I. I don't put no huevos in his hands neither, though. Well, maybe you should think about it. Yeah, I don't really think I would do that. What kind of father put some huevos in that boy's hand? Let's just get right into it. We need to get into it. Now, if you was a betting man, how many eggs would you say that our darling in... Oh, well, maybe we should introduce I told, the I told, I told you I had a prediction. The father of the child had made a prediction already. Nine eggs and one slug. I... Being a father myself, I am inclined to be siding with the father of the child and the owner of the snake. Well, I just can't leave a lovely young lady like Candace to herself, so I'm going to be announcing for the contestant in corner number two. That is Candace, the cine hit sunset ball python. And I will be relegating and delegating all of my opinions upon how the child does in this particular situation, which his father has presented to him with a complete lack of responsibility. Now, I don't want you folks to get lost in the showmanship of this episode. What we have going on here is an actual, the actual biggest, most anticipated clutch of Triple B season. That is going to be, what was, is a cinnamon set, hit sunset is Candace, our lovely lady. And who was the father? Enchi Het Sunset. Enchi Het Sunset. That's going to be Cine Enchi. Cine Inchi Sunset. There was also a prediction made by the father for five visual sunsets. Now, when you guys have a clutch of this magnitude, it's very important that you uh, that you uh, approach this with a certain sense of class, certain sense of dignity. And so what we're going to do is just give you every angle we can on the action of young Noah Sage approaching our lovely lady Candace, and he gonna pull these eggs. He gonna pull those eggs. He gonna pull those eggs just like his father didn't pull out it. Let's get the video started. <laughs> and we got a warm up dance going on right here. I should I should keep the volume down. Right? Oh. Pops right out from underneath the table. This boy is ready. He looks ready. Here we go. Here we go. What's he doing? He's sliding. Oh, out. okay. Noah says he's going to make some preparations here. We got a uh, handy pullouts live from the Freedom Breeder. Freedom Breeder. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay. He's getting ready. He's getting ready. Oh, you oh, can see. Back he, under the table. He's quick. Bob, bobbing and a weaving. The boy's got agility. Dance like a butterfly, sting like a bee. That's the way to go about it. But let's see how Candace does. The initial pull. Now, Candace, she no slouch. She no slouch. This is going to be a fierce competitor for young Noah Sage. I'm I'm sensing some hesitation from the boy. Oh, look at that. She's up. She's up. The second that, that sunlight hit her in the face, she boom. You ain't taking my huevos, boy. You all better step back. That boy does not seem that he even realizes what's going on. That's snake. Oh, oh, maybe he's gone. The boy's he go? gone. Where'd he go? The boy has disappeared. Candace is confused. Oh. Candace is confused. Okay, we see him popping up over here. What's she doing? I feel like that was a smart. The snake. Oh, she was, sees him. She oh, sees him. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at this. He's back on the other side. Camera can't even keep up with his face. Whoosh. Whoever is working that camera has serious issues. <laughs> now she's still looking for him on the front side, but this boy, he's he's popping up and down like a whistle pig out of the park. Candace don't know where he's at. Fortunately, she got a couple coils right around these eggs. You says you says ten eggs. I says nine eggs. One. Infertile egg. Ah, known as a you, got, slug. you got a slug again. No one has a slug. Now, Candace, she, she's alert. She's on it. She's looking everywhere, but she ain't going to see him. What's this now? Oh, what's this oh, now? He's pulling. Oh, thinking ahead, I would say. This no, boy. That's a good move. That's a good move. Get that water out of the way. You don't want no splashing around on those eggs. See, now, Candace, Candace, you may not like it, but it seems like young Noah Sage has got you and your huevos in mind. This boy must have been having some. Proper training, I would say. Proper training indeed. Oh boy, oh boy. 
Still, she don't know what to do. She she panicking here. She can't. She almost looked like Ken is trying to figure out how to pick her eggs up and take off with them. Uh, it looks like She's the boy. Checking every egg. If you never seen no ball python counting, Candace is counting right now. The boy is still clearly trying to figure out how to pick up the tub himself. I think that tub just about big as he is. I would say that tub is easily at least bigger than his wingspan. Now he got Candace's face right up by his face at times. You've got to have nerves of steel. I would say that he definitely has nerves of steel. Now I think I think no say he's been raised right. This boy's tough. He's tougher than woodpecker lips. I don't know about that tie-dye stuff. That looks like the work of Satan. Yeah, I, I, that's probably about right. Yeah, well. Hawaiian print. Hawaiian print. the way I go. Oh my goodness. He got some hands on Candace now. Candace don't know. Oh no, she Oh my goodness, the fight is almost over before it begun. Young Noah Sage has got a monster python. Can you imagine from his perspective how big that snake must be? And he already got her off her egg before she even located him. The boy seems to be contemplating what is the next move here. What do you think he's going to do? What do you, he's going? He's going. Where's he going? He's bringing her somewhere. Oh my goodness, just like a proper southern gentleman. He's bathing that egg scent off of Candace. He's now, getting her in a tub. Now, the purpose of him bathing that egg scent off of this snake now is to get her to go right back on food directly after so that she doesn't lose more weight after having just birthed so many eggs. Did we? Did you get a count on those eggs? Yeah, Is we, our prediction come true? We got we got nine eggs and one. I see one little sluggy down there on the side. You saw? I must have been missing. I was watching the boy do his magic. Nah, we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut back to that in a minute. We're gonna see it. But check this out. He got the detergent going. He's got the sponge. He knows how to bathe the snake. Oh. Now it it can't be hard for lovely Candace here. She's been working hard all night long, pushing egg after egg, and mm, she still looks so fine. But she was looking forward to sitting on those eggs for what, the next 55 days? Next 55 days she's been sitting on them eggs. 55 days she's been fixing to sit on them eggs, and now, next thing you know, she turned around. Got some boy up in her face, bobbing and weaving like that damn whistle pig, and now she in the tub. The boy seems focused, and, and the cameraman seems to be getting in the shot again. This cameraman, I say, I, th- I feel he may lose his job. Yeah, well, that guy needs some kind of guy to do his production for him. Yeah, yeah, we need somebody to do better production around here. We'll, we'll figure that out. Somebody's got to do it. The boy is focused. He is focused, and he is delicate. Oh. He's handling this. I was going to say. Oh, the ain't... snake. The snake is getting away. The oh, snake my is goodness. crawled over the side of the tub. If you've ever touched a snake before, you know they are basically solid muscle. Come on, Candace. You can get out of there. Get out of there, girl. Hook the side of that tub and run I pray. back to them eggs. Oh. And he pulls her off. He pulls her off. Noah Sage has done it. Hallelujah. The python as long as he is hooked to the side of the tub, trying to get to her eggs. Oh, he's thinking about what he needs to do next. What is he going to do? He, he was going to leave the snake in the tub. I think he got a better idea right here, right now. Here he goes. Here come Candace. She is a good girl. You know, she looked like she wanted to give him a little bit of a love tap right there in the beginning. But once he got her off the egg, you know, now she's just looking to get back to them. Now, how much do you reckon that that snake weighs after laying those eggs? Oh, golly. I, I'm going to say that's, that's got to be that's gotta be somewhere between... 1750 and 2000 grams. 1050 and 2000 grams? 1750 and 2000 grams. I, I won't go close to 2000 grams. What do you think? I do not know that language of which you speak. <laughs> well, she ain't no lightweight. That's Is that for the sure. Queen's English? That's for sure. Uh, uh, back into My it. mama raised me to be a proper gentleman. Oh, That's he, for sure. He, al- he there. already had a tub ready to go. Just like good Noah in the it's like he'd done it before. Oh, wait, he did not. No, he did not slide the tub all the way back in. Oh, he's, there's a struggle. A str- oh, he had assistance from the cameraman again. Oh, wait, maybe that cameraman will get his job back. There you go. There you go. Now Helping look out at, the poor look child. Look at Candace making this nice nest, pulling all the substrate away so she can control every every little lick of heat coming up off of that heat pad, wrapping her eggs up, 
pressing them down there on the bottom. What a nice and fine. There There's is the, the slug. slug. There's the slug. There was hey, one slug. Me. What's he going to do? What's he going to do with it? I think he's going to eat. He's contemplating eating that slug, I do believe. Oh, my goodness. He's as happy as a jaybird. What is he going to do? He's going to chuck it out the window. He's going to He's going left. He's going right. Maybe, maybe oh. just shake it a little loose. Shake it a little loose. You know, you grab that slug first and kind of get the nerves off. You know, expand his choice, your, your shakes before you get to the new snakes. I imagine this child has no idea that if he messes this up, he will not be eating anything for the rest of the year but top ramen. This this clutch is about an American annual salary. Really, I don't under, I don't understand how his father is gonna put all that responsibility into his hands. The father has clearly lost his mind. Yeah, or maybe he's maybe he's from my neck of the woods. I mean. Boy, my daddy. Your people are definitely missing a screw or two. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> oh, focus. Look at the focus. Look at the tongue hanging out. It looks like a looks like he's done a special thing. It looks like he's riding a short bus, but now for a boy that probably don't even fold his own laundry, he knows how to stick down that glad wrap. There it goes. He's putting on the top. He's putting on the top. Things are looking good. Things look. He look, look at his focus. Look at look at oh, the confidence. Little, little squish down on some sunset oh, eggs. There. Oh, pack squishy. those in there. Oh. It's a good thing them eggs are tough. But still, boy, this is some this is some heroin business. Heroin? Yeah. No, not that kind. Oh my goodness. No, this this, this child is a man. <laughs> not that kind. Not a heroin. Har- He's a hero. This harrowing. boy is a hero. Look at this boy. Heroin. Not heroin. Not not heroine, not heroin. It's a heroin tap. H a double r o w i n g. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I see. Okay, he's got him in the eggs. Boom. The there job it is, is done, folks. There it is, folks. The job is done. Candace is off the eggs. The eggs is in the incubator. There's one thing I need to know from this child, and that is, what does he know? I know. <laughs> What I just did, which is um, doing a lot of stuff all by myself. That's a good one. <laughs> That's what, what do you know about doing a bunch of stuff that you just did? That I, um, I pulled Candace off of her eggs. I put her in the sink. Then I put her in there. Then I got a slug off of the eggs and put got the thing that was right here, put it on the box, you handed me the lid, and I put it on, and then I took the egg box over here, I set it on the ground, opened this up, put it in there, and closed it, and that's all of it. (laughs) That's all I know. Hey, Noah. How does that make you feel? Good. Ow! <laughs> the sanitize? No. The oh, egg thing. Good. 